Well, Ukraine's aspirations of joining the European Union were once again in focus today with the visit from the chairman of Ukraine's parliament. Now, Ruslan Stefanchuk was in Strasbourg earlier and he pleaded with European officials for his country to join the bloc. We can cross over now to our correspondent in Brussels, Maeve McMahon, for more on his address. Good to see you, Maeve. Uh, the speaker of the Ukrainian parliament bringing his message essentially to the heart of Europe. He spoke to Euronews. What did he have to say? Absolutely. Ruslan Stefanchuk speaking in the European Parliament this morning and not for the first time. The Speaker of the Ukrainian Parliament spoke already to the Parliament virtually back on the 1st of March and he said back then he had a frog in his throat. He was full of emotion but today he stood in front of the parliamentarians physically feeling supported and feeling like he was speaking to friends. He pointed out the fact that so far 14 million Ukrainians have been displaced, 8 million internally and 6 million outside Ukraine. And he thanked personally the support that he'd received from the European Union, not from politicians, but from people across the continent who've opened their homes to support people in need from Ukraine. But beyond that message of thanks, what Ruslan Stefanchuk really asked for this morning in front of those European parliamentarians in Strasbourg was membership for uh, Ukraine candidacy, something that will of course be discussed on the 24th of June at an EU summit. And that was the point of an interview as well with Euronews' Shandor Zeros. Take a listen now to Ruslan Stefanchuk. We don't want for you to invent something new, non-existent status for Ukraine, or do something special for Ukraine. Ukraine wants a frank way to get this status. And then later on, we want to do everything which is needed to receive full-fledged membership. But if we're going to get the candidacy, we can have our roadmap and we can better understand what we have to do, when we have to do it, which is better. A very frank Ruslan Stefan Chuk there from the Ukrainian parliament. He'll be visiting a number of European countries now, speaking to various parliaments, drumming up support for that candidacy, which he said today in that speech would be a watershed moment and a very strong message for Putin and also the people of Ukraine, who he said have been fighting for months uh, in, in, in the name of the values of the European Union.